مشاهدي أخبار الآن أهلا بكم في هذا اللقاء الخاص من إستونيا نحن الآن نتواجد في مقر وزارة الخارجية الإستونية إستونيا تعلي النبرة بشكل لافت تجاه روسيا بالنظر إلى الجرائم التي يتم ارتكابها في أوكرانيا ومنذ أن بدأت الحرب كانت هناك مواقف قوية جدا وجريئة من قبل هذه الدولة تجاه إستونيا طبعا نحن في مقار وزارة الخارجية للاطلاع على موقف هذه البلاد عن قرب من رأس الدبلوماسية الإستونية وزير الخارجية ماركوس تساكنا سيد ماركوس تساكنا بداية شكرا لاستضافتنا هنا في مقار وزارة الخارجية سؤالي الأول أنتم اليوم دولة في الاتحاد الأوروبي تتشارك حدودها مع روسيا السؤال هل تعتبرون انكم محظوظون ام لا we have been living here like a couple of thousands of years and so uh, we are not afraid but nothing good is coming from east we know it i was as well a defense minister a couple of years ago and uh, what i saw the other side of the border and this is not only the eu border this is also the nato border was uh, 120000 troops ready to go now these troops they were sent to Ukraine and they are not existing anymore. But the threat uh, from Russian side, it still remains there. So we used to live here, but uh, we have decided uh, that we will never be alone again as we were actually in 1940 when Estonia was occupied by Russia. Mm -hmm. So that's the, our living standard, what we, what we, what we have. And uh, this is our destiny. سيد ماركوس هناك علاقات يعني لا يمكن أن ننكر أن هناك علاقات اليوم مع روسيا خصوصا وأن هناك مواطنين روس في في إستونيا كيف تديرون تلك العلاقات اليوم في ظل الحرب الروسية على أوكرانيا؟ Of course we have relations in the meaning of different nations and also we have Russian background people living in Estonia. But uh, Russia is now an aggression country and we have uh, sanctions as much as we can from Estonian side as well uh, as EU. And I think that Estonia is one of the leading countries to, uh, to uh, establish this kind of sanctions to stop actually the Russian uh, war machine. Uh, our official relations are uh, in minimum level, really. Uh, we have no relations and because uh, not of Estonia but because of uh, Russia. Russia is an aggression country and we say it loudly we are the border country for democratical world and the dictatorship نعم عندما بدا الغزو الروسي على على اوكرانيا توقفت القنصليات في نارفا وسان بيترسبرغ عن اصدار التاشيرات للذين يريدون العبور بالاتجاهين ايضا قامت استونيا بوقف عدد من البرامج التلفزيونيه لانها تعتبر انها تروج للدعايه الروسيه اليوم كيف تواصلون مواجهه we are not issuing visas uh, only uh, with humanitarian reasons. We have closed all the borders. Uh, the second thing, we have closed uh, more than 50 TV channels and more than 240 uh, different websites which are propagating the war and aggression. Uh, but we have supported uh, the Estonian free private media about the Russian uh, communication, different channels and websites to share the, uh, the solid information in the meaning of objectivity. So uh, we are used to deal with uh, Russian speaking uh, people in Estonia as well because we have this minority here and I think they are well informed. But of course, uh, to face the Russian propaganda globally, this is not uh, the goal for Estonian only, but uh, also for the free democratic world. So we work together with EU and uh, different uh, levels that we can share the objective information, what is going on. Uh, but also uh, we deal with uh, any kind of uh, disinformation actions, what we have uh, in social media. Uh, we have uh, this kind of volunteer uh, network for different people and also our Ministry of Entire, uh, in Interior is dealing with uh, any kind of disinformation uh, to inform people. And, and also we have this uh, a contact point, uh, we call it the web constable, uh, who is responsible and uh, for any kind of alerts what is going on in social media. So this is the way well, how we must treat the situation. نعم سيد ماركوس يعني قامت استونيا مؤخرا بطرد نحو 20 موظفا يعملون في السفاره الروسيه في استونيا وهناك يعني ثمت ثمت دبلوماسي روسي مهم اتهمته استونيا بانه يقوم بالترويج للدعايه الروسيه من خلال تبرير الاعمال العدائيه والحرب على اوكرانيا 
كيف اليوم تتأكدون من أن من تبقى في القنصلية الروسية لا يروج لتلك الدعاية الروسية؟ الروسيين كل العالم يستخدمون أي kind of information. They are actually protecting the aggression. They are they are official representatives of Putin all over the world. Putin is a war criminal. Uh, is exercising the genocide against Ukraine people. Uh, so uh, how can I be sure that Russian uh, embassy is not spreading this information? Of course, they use uh, any kind of possibilities. But as well, we are an independent country and we act uh, if there is a need. نعم بما ان بما ان استونيا تتشارك حدودا مهمه مع مع روسيا فمن المعتقد ان اي غزو مستقبلي من قبل موسكو سياتي من من هنا من من هذه الحدود اما من الجنوب لناحيه لاتفيا هل تخشون اي سيناريو مماثل في المستقبل ام لا Of course we are uh, watching carefully our borders and also we we'll work together with our neighboring countries as Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, also Finland and Norway. And we have very close uh, change of information and uh, but uh, the hybrid threat is always there. We witness as well uh, daily uh, the, the cyber attacks uh, to Estonia like hundreds of different uh, actions. I cannot see now the military uh, invasion plans from Russian side because they are so much involved in Ukraine, but we must always be ready. We have been two decades uh, the member of NATO, uh, so we are the border state for NATO as well. So Article 5 is there, ready to go. Uh, when I was defense minister, we welcomed the um, NATO troops in hand for the present uh, mission here. Mm -hmm. And now we have solid plans as well, uh, agreed in Vilnius summit. We have boots on the ground, different nations here in our region. So if there is any kind of real actions, so Article 5 will be used and in really serious ways. ذكرت للتو أن هناك تهديدات هاجينة من قبل روسيا. ما هو نوع هذه التهديدات؟ Any kind. We have witnessed uh, what has happened in Poland or in, in Lithuania or in Latvia. Uh, Russia is using any kind of opportunities to test the borders. They're using uh, innocent people as refugees pushing across the border and uh, many other hybrid uh, uh, situations. So hybrid is hybrid because we never know exactly what will come. But we must be ready and uh, our border is well protected. ذكرت أنكم لستم خائفون كإستونيا من أي تهديد من قبل روسيا ولكن هل أنتم حاضرون للرد للتحرك فيما, ك... فيما لو كان هناك تهديد روسي ما محتمل على إستونيا؟ We are not afraid. We have never been afraid. As I said before as well, we have been living here thousands of years and we know exactly what is going on and I think that we are the best and most professional eyes to see what is going on the other side of the border and what is going in Russia. So Russia is a threat. We have said it a couple of decades already. Unfortunately, we were right. And we are well, well prepared. And not only Estonia independently, but also together with our allies. So uh, we are not afraid. Uh, if there is any violation, we will, we will act uh, in, a, in a very proper way. We have capacities. تحدثنا عن جهود استونيا لناحيه امكانيه الرد او الدفاع عن نفسها فيما لو واجهت اي اعتداء محتمل او هجوم محتمل عليها ولكن سياسيا ودبلوماسيا ماذا تفعلون كدوله استونيا لمواجهه ذلك ايضا Of course the first thing is that we support Ukraine to win the war against Russia against Russian aggression, to be honest. Uh, Estonia has given more than 1% of GDP support. And this is, I think, the, the highest per capita in the world, probably. Uh, but of course, uh, the, the question is not only to win the war, but also the violation of international law, the aggression crimes. Estonia is forerunner for these processes as well. Uh, we, want, we, we want to uh, organize the International Special Tribunal as well for the leadership crimes as aggression is, about the Troika of Putin. Uh, this is not uh, well achieved now, but uh, the discussions uh, are going on. Also the ICC processes about uh, any kind of violation against uh, the, the children. We, we know that more than 20,000 kids has been deported. So this was the one priority as well, our meetings in Unga in New York last week. So uh, we do all the different uh, aspects. The goal is to push Russia back to Russia and also uh, to take any kind of understanding for the future that they will, uh, ex uh, they will exercise aggression again. So uh, 
it needs very different levels, as well as sanctions. We are now preparing the 12th sanction package uh, proposal, uh, proposal uh, of EU, very heavy ones. So uh, we do all different levels what we can, because this is our existential question. قامت استونيا مؤخرا طبعا بمنع جميع المركبات التي تحمل لوحات روسية من العبور إليها وأيضا كان هناك جدل كبير بشأن ذلك حول الاستمرار في إصدار التأشيرات ولكن ثمة استثناءات بالبداية ما هي هذه الاستثناءات لحصول الروس على تأشيرات تمكنه من الدخول إلى أوروبا أو إلى استونيا we have humanitarian exemptions if, if there is a need for humanitarian reasons. Also, we are dealing with uh, journalists, uh, actually, to, to who are uh, who, who are not in safe positions in Russia. Actually, we we are actually protecting them as well. So we have exceptions. But as a rule, uh, if you are a Russian citizen, then you, you have no entrance to uh, EU through Estonia. نعم ولكن ماذا عن المقيمين الذين يتمتعون بإقامة دائمة الروس الذين يتمتعون بإقامة دائمة هل أنتم ربما ستنظرون في أوضاعهم فهم يعني يتمتعون أيضا في الأمن والسلام ويعيشون هنا بحرية تامة وذكرتم أنه لا يحق للروس بأن يعيشوا حياتهم بشكل طبيعي فيما الروس ستشن حربا على أوكرانيا We have many uh, Russian background people living here already decades so we have no problems with them we are talking about the Russian citizens who are visiting Estonia or EU. If their visa is finished, then they go back to Russia. So that's very easy. لنقل أن روسيا أقدمت على ارتكاب عمل عدواني جديد تجاه أوكرانيا. هل أنتم ستقدمون على ربما منع هذه الإقامات الدائمة للروس؟ I can't understand what is the major aggression, the full-scale aggression with genocide, any kind of violation of international law is, is going on now, already one and a half years. So uh, I couldn't understand the question. عمل عمل عدواني لنقل لنقل مثل ما حدث في بوتشا مؤخرا من أكبر المجازر التي حصلت في بوتشا. Russia is executing these kind of actions every day, daily. They are deporting now children. So that is no change. Uh, I think that just Pucha was the, uh, the eye-opening uh, action uh, for globally. I mean, I think that Ukraine win the war in the, in the minds of people globally after this Pucha information came public. What is good today's communication is that uh, we see online what is going on and we see it globally. Uh, so this is not the situation as it was during the Second World War. Actually, there was no information what really, uh, what really happened. Uh, we saw only uh, the military actions, but actually there is a huge uh, violation of humanitarian law against everybody, uh, raping, uh, deportation of children. This is crazy what is going on. So there is no change that it happened in Pucha and now is everything okay. No, there is 24-7 crimes going on in Ukraine. يبدو أن الأمور تسير على ما يرام فيما يخص اليوم التوافق بين إستونيا، لاتفيا وليثوانيا فيما يخص الحظر التجاري كيف تسير الأمور اليوم وأين أصبح هذا الأمر؟ Trade embargo negotiations are on the EU level because uh, we cannot do it just uh, based on Estonia or Latvia, Lithuania. Mm. We have a long border and I think that all these kind of uh, trade embargo decisions they must uh, uh, be made on EU level because they, they, then they work. So, uh, and this is one proposal what we have made as well on EU level. سيد ماركوز إذا لم يتم التوصل اليوم إلى اتفاق مع الدول المجاورة لروسيا بشأن التجارة بشأن حظر التجارة هل تخطط إستونيا للشروع بحظر التجارة مع روسيا أم أنكم لا تجرؤون على ذلك؟ there are always uh, intentions to smuggling uh, things, but Estonia is one of the most solid countries who are following sanctions. So, and also we have very good cooperation between other uh, the border countries. Uh, just uh, two weeks ago, I had a BTC meeting uh, traditionally with all the bordering countries uh, from Norway to Poland uh, about this uh, the car uh, plate, uh, the, the number plates of the cars, and so on. So uh, this cooperation is solid, but of course there is always uh, uh, intention, uh, not from Estonian companies even. I mean that Estonia is actually a transit country, and more than 75% of goods which is coming through Estonia is not coming from Estonia, it is coming through Estonia. This is, these intentions are globally. نعم سيد ماركوس فيما لو حصل في لو لم يحصل اتفاق من هذا النوع بين تلك الدول بينكم مع لاتفيا وليتوانيا 
هل قادرة إستونيا اليوم على اتخاذ مثل هذا القرار بوقف التجارة مع روسيا بشكل قاطع؟ هل تقدرون على ذلك؟ There are some goods who are not sanctioned and this is the problem as well. Uh, what uh, Lithuania has done is that uh, there are sensitive goods list that uh, Lithuania is, is, is sanctioning in the meaning not crossing the, the country. This is one option as well we are, we are discussing now. سيد ماركوس اليوم الحرب مستمرة على أوكرانيا يعني يقوم الروس بما يقوم به في أوكرانيا ولا شيء تغير غير أن الحرب مستمرة برأيك هل يقوم الناتو اليوم بما يجب أن يقوم به أو يفعل ما يتوجب عليه لمواجهة روسيا لوقف تلك الحرب أم ماذا؟ Absolutely to damage the Russian war machine all different levels sanctions uh, this is about the international law establishing all the different actions what we can do نعم سيد ماركوس ذكرت انه من الضروري انهاء تلك الحرب بالطريقه المناسبه ما هي الطريقه المناسبه وكيف يمكن ان يحدث ذلك This war will continue. This is not a counterattack uh, as everybody was expecting. And also, my good colleague, uh, Foreign Minister Kuleba, said publicly and, and many times to me as well that please tell your allies that uh, one counterattack is not enough. This is a long term fight. Uh, Russia has put in place uh, like 30, 40 kilometers uh, minefields, six mines per one square meter and Ukrainians are going through that under the heavy fire. We must understand what they are doing and they are very successful. It takes time. We need to support them. They are losing lives a lot but they are fighting for their freedom and also our values. ذكرت اننا يعني عندما نربح الحرب مع اوكرانيا ويعني ارفقت ذلك ارفقت ذلك لاحقا مع اوكرانيا. We can do more, of course, because Ukrainians are need any kind of support. They need military support, financial support, political support. Uh, Estonia is one uh, initiator of the one million round ammunition support from EU. And if we can imagine that two years ago EU uh, would have uh, supported any, any countries, the third countries, military ways, that uh, it would seem as to, for me as well impossible. So uh, we can do more, of course. We could, we could, uh, we we can give more weapons, war, more uh, stronger weapons, and so on. Because Russians, uh, Ukrainians, they're fighting for our uh, values as well. But uh, I think that we are doing. It's a good thing that we must understand. We can, we are not getting tired of that. Mm. This is long-term uh, military conflict and, and aggression. So this is one thing as well. Estonia is advocating globally that we are, we cannot get tired of supporting Ukraine. So we can do always more, but we are doing. So we, we support Ukraine. This is most important. في الختام سيد ماركوس ما هو الأمر الذي يمكن أن تقومون به فعليا لإلحاق الضرر خاصة وأنكم ذكرتم أنه الهدف لإستونيا هو إلحاق أكبر قدر ممكن من الضرر بها. ما هو المقترح أو الأمر الذي تقومون به؟ لتحقيق ذلك. Big decision to support Ukraine. The first time actually what we do is that how to use the frozen assets of Russia really. This is the first time uh, in Europe. Mm -hmm. And this is a big thing. We create a legal frame uh, that we can use the Russian frozen assets during the war. They are public or the private uh, ownership assets. So uh, we have this uh, solution. نعم وكيف يمكنكم استخدام تلك الاصول او Sanctions are just the tools we can use to harm the Russian economy, harm the Russian war machine. Also, uh, I'm going to bring to government and then to the parliament the law, uh, first uh, law draft in Europe. Uh, how can we use the Russian frozen assets during the war even? So this is some revolutionary step because we have no uh, the legal frame now in Europe. How can we use these assets? The assets are frozen. This is a good thing. Actually, Russia must pay for the re-establishing uh, or recovery of Ukraine, all the damages. So uh, Estonia is doing very different uh, initiatives on that. Said Marcos, Wazir al Kharjia al Estonia, Shukran Jazeera Laka ala istidafatina. Thank you very much. Shukran Jazeera Laka.